Hi, I'm Adele. I'm Katie. And we're Barbara Rallis, and you're watching Entertainment Focus. How are you girls today? Very good today. We're very busy today. Yeah. Um, yeah, we've been doing lots and lots of interviews for you. So this is number five? Yeah, I think so. Number five. It's good. Up. We've been up early. Yeah. I was up at quarter past six this morning. <laughs> oh, that's because you had to tend to kids first. Yeah. And look after the babies <laughs> before I leave. So how is it uh, for you to get back into the whole, I mean, to start writing again together? Oh, yeah, it's fantastic. fantastic. It's so nice to be doing music again. It really yeah. is. Like, it's, um, it's just been such a long time coming. We've been writing for a while together and it's really nice for it all to come together and make a video and actually have an album sleeve and a little picture on it. <laughs> it's just really nice to just be back in the industry again and introduce ourselves back to the public. It's really cool. Yeah, the obvious question is what's been happening since... Because um, you were big in the 90s, obviously. Yeah, with God, Lewis, what's been so. happening since the 90s? Just an awful lot. I mean, it's 10 years later. Yeah. The biggest difference probably... Well, as Edel's married and she has kids. Well, for me, yeah. <laughs> That's the biggest difference for Edel. Uh, we've never been out of the industry. We've always been songwriting. Mm -hmm. um, I, Edel wrote her own thing. I mm -hmm. did my own thing. I wrote, ended up writing a musical. And uh -huh. um, a, sort of a few years ago, we decided actually, do you know what? We're better together. And that's personally and in work. So we decided, why are we trying to run away from each other? Mm -hmm. So as soon as we sat down and tried to figure out, is this where we're going to go do a new project together? Mm -hmm. It just started to fall into place quite quickly, to be honest. Yeah. Did you straight away know um, what kind of music you were going to do? We actually, yeah, we said we'd sit down and just see what kind of naturally came from both of us. Because, I mean, I guess we've been probably four years apart by mm -hmm. then. As twins, we'd been four years apart, so we didn't even know what it was going to mean, what we were capable of together four mm -hmm. years later. And um, when we sat down, we actually just had, a, we literally just left it all open and we sat there and we just kept writing to different tracks and we had guitar out at some point and we were writing to that. And, and basically we knew when we had a hit track written yeah. and then we met our producer, Yoan mm -hmm. Nouveau, and as yeah. soon as he put his music to us, the whole album came alive and it just snowballed into something really big for us. And the album just, Barbarella's album came alive from then. So where did the name come from? Is it just inspired by the yeah, sci-fi? Yeah, inspired by the name. Yeah, it is. Like, it's inspired by just um, our futuristic look that we actually have and just the album as well. And then obviously the movie, movie is just brilliant anyway and it was Jane Fonda's, um, her whole turnaround and yeah. her whole sexy, sexy image, etc. And it's got a real cult following the movie. Yeah. Yeah, the video is definitely very sexy and futuristic. Yeah, it's very yeah. sexy and It looks like it was quite fun to uh, do. And crazy. Yeah. Those cra oh, our video. Sorry, I was yeah. thinking of the movie. No, no, it was a video. Your video. <coughs> you know, we had fun doing the video, actually. It had been a long time since we made a video, mm -hmm. so we kind of didn't know what to expect. We were a little nervous, mm -hmm. but as soon as we were back in, it was like a duck take into water. We had yeah. a great day. Um, Jimmy was in the video as well. We had one dancer, and we weren't sure how that was going to feel either. Mm -hmm. But um, he was trooper. He was the right guy to choose. He was quite happy to be pushed around. So we <laughs> bullied him a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> So obviously, first single is coming out at the end of this month, Body yeah. Rock. Um, can you t tell me a bit about it? How, uh, when you wrote it, and um... Body Rock is one of the later songs that we wrote. Actually, it was probably just the last year. Mm -hmm. Well, we're in two thousand and eleven now, of course. So it would have been, I'd say, the end of two thousand and nine. Body Rock, I think. Possibly. We wrote it said about November, and um, it was literally it, the, our producer Yo Ad Nouveau. He gave us this track, which we adored, and mm -hmm. we wrote a song. And it, it was it's basically about a friend of ours who was. Mm -hmm whose boyfriend was cheating on her and um, I know nasty but uh, yeah her boyfriend was cheating on her and then she communicated with him the only way the best way he knows how which is sex and let him kind of know what she was worth and then dumped him <laughs> said I, I know, know, know your tricks <laughs> so <laughs> like a yeah. good way to end things I know it was great I was like you go girl I'm yeah. to you screw you I did exactly and yeah. I'm done <laughs> screw you I did it in the best way possible and now you're gone but, yeah. <laughs> So, um, do you usually write from your own experience or...? Generally. Mostly. I think mostly um, we write from our own experience or someone else's. It's definitely been about life experience from the last 10 years mm -hmm. that we have been through ourselves or we've just watched um, from afar. But um, sometimes it's fictional, but it's, it's very... it's not very often. If it's fictional, it's normally how you're feeling at that moment and the kind of mood that you're in and stuff yeah. at the time. Mm. So it's really, it doesn't feel fictional because you're actually just expressing an emotion. Like yeah, very most of the album is like a personal diary. Mm. Yeah? yeah? Yeah. Of both or does it, um, of, did you co-write all the songs or are there some songs in there that are just... No, we co-wrote all yeah. of them. Um, they're not 
obviously some some of the songs are about an experience that I had, some okay. of them are about an experience Edel had, mm -hmm. um, but we, we know what each other goes through anyway, so mm -hmm. it's kind of good that way because you get the songwriting point of view of the person who knows how it felt, mm -hmm. and then you get the songwriting of the person from the outside, what it, what it feels like looking in on it, so we usually experience everything together anyway. <laughs> Twins. <laughs> Most yeah. things, yeah. <laughs> um, so, well, what shall we expect from Night Mode? Is Body Rock a good introduction to the album? Is it's it a good introduction, but it's good certainly it, it's not the be all and end all of the album by all mm -hmm. means. The album is it is quite upbeat, and you will okay. you will have fun too, and you will dance. But yeah. there's also some tracks on there that are more serious and lyrically quite serious, and uh, there's some beautiful mm -hmm. ballads on there as well. Um, there's probably a little bit more of a guitar mm -hmm. influence throughout some of the tracks as well. Yeah. Like, as in rock guitar, probably more so than the acoustic that's in body rock. But the electro feel is on most, on most of what's going through it. Yeah. yeah. Did you have any favourites on the album? Oh, do we have any favourites? Oh, we haven't been asked that yet. Um, one of my favourites is uh, What Life Is This, it's called. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I really love it. It's, um, it's actually quite a serious track as well. It's, mm -hmm. it's written quite serious as well. It's just um, a friend of ours, again, who um, experienced just really sad times through drugs etc mm. in what he is envisaged so um yeah i love that track i think it's brilliant and i think it's just written really well i think that's what i love so much about it and it's uh, yeah it is a fabulous track um another track on the album is faith in me that's about Edel mm. being pregnant the first time around actually and her little boy's heartbeat is mm. on the track that's from when so she was pregnant lovely. the second oh, time wow. and that's lovely it's People, it's really weird, whatever way it's been produced and written, people feel that straight away. Mm. It's quite an emotional song from start to finish, which I think it's because it's very really real. proud of. And so. actually, when we were recording the vocal in the studio, I was just in tears. I couldn't stop <laughs> crying and actually singing it. It was crazy. Are you really hands-on when you're in the studio as well? Yeah, we're really hands-on in the studio. I think it's good. We know, what each, we know each other's limits as well. We know how far we can push each other. <laughs> sometimes, because we've been working together so long, sometimes people will go, oh, that's a nice take, and we'll be like, no, she can do better. Yeah, that's not good enough. You know, you, you see people sometimes looking at you going as if, that's a bit harsh. Yeah, yeah. And like, you could do much better. That was, actually wasn't very good. And then they're like, what? Yeah. It was perfect. It was fine. It was just like, no, fine's not good enough. <laughs> that's good, though. Yeah. yeah. Yes, you need We're to be a bit kind too. of perfectionists like that, I think, and maybe we book people at times. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's good. Yeah. Um, so, did you have a chance to perform live yet? You knew. We have actually. Mm -hmm. Barbarella's performed live on Miss Ireland, mm -hmm. um, which was. When was it? It was brilliant though, it was our first live show and the reception was amazing. Yeah. Absolutely amazing, yeah. And I, th I don't think people knew what to expect from us. I um, mean, A, because we were in the industry years ago, and then yeah. B, because of the way we were dressed. We were wearing black and white outfits, and they were quite way out there, and we had we had actually these wigs on, and we had a hair horn on and everything. <laughs> nice. So I think yeah. it was fantastic, and initially, I think when we came out, people were just a bit like, what? And they were amazing. They actually were such a good reception. They loved the songs we played. We played Body Rock. Mm -hmm. We played Night Mode, which is our next single, and it's yeah. the title track for the album. And we played another one, Could You Ever Love, which actually is free on the download on the website. So it was brilliant. It just went down so well. Yeah, it was good. It was a good. Um, it was good for us because we didn't know how people were going to take it at all. So um, for them to take it like that, really good straight away, it meant that we did write the album we were meant to, mm -hmm. and we are performing the way they were meant to. I think they could see it was a natural thing for us, yeah. and that made them feel more comfortable. So it was good. Yeah. Um, do you, what do you listen to? What were the influences for this album? You know, we're actually, we're, we're terrible. Bit, yeah, we're kind of sticklers like that. When we're writing, we don't listen to anything because we're afraid to rewrite somebody yeah. else's track. Because I, and it happens an awful lot. We've been in studios with friends, and you know they go, "Oh, listen to the song I'm putting down," and you go, "It's very similar to like so and so," and they're like, "You see it on the side of their desk," and it's just like, "That's why," because you listen. Yeah, I wasn't yeah. thinking of that. So, so we actually we do try not to listen to anything yeah. a couple of months previous to us, but at the same time we fully. We're fully aware of the fact that we have to actually write today as yeah. well and not what it was years ago. So I think uh, no one necessarily influenced the album in general. Um, I think that as songwriters, we just try and be as different as we possibly can. Mm -hmm. If you try and sound like someone, you will sound like them. Yeah. So that's why we don't listen to anything and we try and just not take influence into our actual songs. Do you listen to anything at the moment? Is there anything you like? Yeah, yeah. there's so many. Well, um, I love the Black Eyed Peas. I think I've said that a million times, but I do. <laughs> I love Will I Am's writing. He's just, he's always outside the box. He always takes risks. There's no constructive thing to their songwriting. It's just like, I want to do that, and I will. And I absolutely love that. It's brilliant. I love Jay-Z, yeah, I think he's amazing. And Rihanna, yeah. I'm obsessed with, I think. Yeah. 
She she fabulous. Fabulous. She's fabulous. I think she's fabulous in music and just herself. Yeah, there's so many. I also like listening to things like John Mayer and stuff just to relax. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you don't like things like that. <laughs> I'm not a big fan. I'm not a big fan. <laughs> um, what, uh, when are we gonna ex- when shall we expect to see you live in London or in the UK in general? On stage? Yeah. Oh, yeah, well, we're, we're only putting that together now, really, yeah. so I don't know, but hopefully, I'm guessing in the next couple of months, definitely, when the okay. single's released. Well, Body Rocks out on the 31st sure. of January, mm-hmm. so we'll see what happens from there. I can't wait to get on stage and start doing some more live stuff. Yeah, yeah. it's going to be great. Are you going to uh, start writing, because uh, you wrote in the past for other people, I mm. think Girls of Alan, Sugar Babes, and yeah. also for TV shows. Um, are you I, have you still uh, are you still doing that or are you um, at the moment um, we're not writing for other people at the minute we're just focused on ourselves but um, yeah, yeah we'd love to definitely love to write for other people I think songwriting is something that's natural for us it's something we love doing and definitely want to keep up if some songs end up not being for us quite happy to write them for someone else or somebody wants to come along and write with us <laughs> they yeah. yeah do you feel like that sometimes that you write a song and then you feel well actually this isn't for me yeah yet. sometimes I yeah. mean you definitely when you're writing an album you write so many that don't make it but you mm-hmm. have to do that yeah you have to write um well you have to write bad things to get good things don't you yeah. it's just it gets better and better and sometimes you write it and you go that's a really good song but actually it would suit someone else better mm. and sometimes you have a specific someone in mind as well you're like that would be really good with Britney or something <laughs> yeah so what's the plan for um uh, the next couple of months just promo promo the next couple of months is all promo yeah it's all TVs and press and mm. um, hopefully a couple of gigs we're planning really the gigs probably later end of January in the beginning of February once Body Rock is near enough to release or released after so yeah and then obviously the night mode the next thing will be out in April mm-hmm. so we'll have to start all over again we're going to make a video for that etc and um, then the single or the album will be out in April too so it'll be, it's just promo our life is going to be promo for the next yeah, that's so good and, and maybe yeah. festivals it's finally <laughs> yeah. to be here so good well yeah. thank you very much for your time thank, thank you. you thank you for yours cheers <laughs>